Hey guys, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com and today is August the 6th, 2013. I want to talk about the sun uh, magnetic field which is about to flip. There's a lot of talk about it on space weather. So I'm going to start doing space weather updates myself. Check out the site in a couple of days. It'll be updated with a new link for space weather tracking. Um, you're taking a look at Facebook, the Facebook page for Solar Maximum. This is a great website uh, on Facebook to check out the latest updates and alerts because people like you and me want to know what's going on with this uh, new event. Um, every 11 years this is something that occurs uh, according to NASA uh, according to NASA of course and uh, if you see these posts here it talks about the sun's magnetic field which is about to flip NASA scientists, scientists say so if you click on it it'll take you to uh, this article right here and this article is directly from NASA, which this is the NASA.gov website, you can see up here on the top of proof. Um, I'll post links in the description of the video below. Talks about the sun's reversal of the poles, and uh, of course, what could it happen on Earth as this happens? Well, there's really not much data in the video or information that they talk about of what can happen on planet Earth when this occurs which I believe it is occurring according to NASA scientists when I watched the video they said it's slightly occurring right now it's not all the way through yet but by the end of 2013 the sun's poles will flip so what's going to happen with that I mean is I mean that that's that's the situation that everybody's wondering about is what's the situation here on earth well in the video it explained that some of our climate change can be affected such as cloudiness around the earth and they didn't really speak of much after that but I think there's more more than that I mean I'm thinking if the sun's gonna reverse and right now we're not experiencing any major solar activity such as solar flares we just seen maybe minor geomagnetic storms in the solar maximum which is nothing happening and I've talked about this before in my prior videos. Is this the quiet before the storm? Because the solar flare activity has just been very low. And this may be uh, something that may have occurred back in, I think it's the 1980s, 9, 1989, 1970, I believe it was, whatever it was, the year that Earth got hit by that big giant solar flare, which caused fires, it caused power outages. And even to now, I don't think we're prepared for that type of situation. With our new technology, this could bring us back to the Stone Age, as we've all been speaking of when it comes to solar activity. So when this event happens, I think we need to keep a close watch on our sun's sunspots, solar activity, corona holes, and everything else. According to this article here, it explains to you what is about to happen. And it doesn't give any detail other than the fact that I just said, you know, cloudiness, climate change. Uh, and when it comes to the climate change, too, we haven't had much hurricane activity. And for those of you who know, that's the big thing about my site, Mr. Hurricane Tracker, to track hurricanes. And this year has been very limited to hurricane activity. We're in the heart of hurricane season right now in August, and nothing major has happened. We've had a couple of storms in the eastern Pacific but are nothing major for the United States or anything like that which is very unique and if this climate change is going to affect stuff such as the cloudiness and stuff who knows what else it can affect can it affect the jet stream movement can it affect anything else on planet earth if everything's going to be rotating and moving around as, as they say in space uh, with electrical currents maybe we can see something different change on earth as well um, it happens every 11 years, you know, so there may not be anything to worry about, but we still need to be on alert, on our toes. On the very bottom of this article, it shows here, stay tuned to science at NASA for updates. This whole entire article is just uh, something to specify who monitors this, what is happening right now, but doesn't explain what Earth could expect. So, that's my main concern, NASA, is to find out what's hap what's going to happen to our planet, if anything. I mean, if nothing happens, that's great. 
But look at this uh, website here, folks. This is solarimg.org. <clears throat> if you click on some of these uh, icons here, it'll take you to these monitoring uh, sites. Uh, this one's ma monitoring the magnetopause. Uh, this one's monitoring, let me get to it, the actual CMEs that pop up our sun. Uh, the sun is, of course, in the middle, and the yellow dot is Earth, and it looks like we just had a slight CME uh, pop off the sun and it's headed towards our way, but it looks like it's not much, just enough to deliver a glancing glow and maybe actually see some geomagnetic activity. And in fact, I think we are uh, seeing some of that on spaceweather.com. So if you go to spaceweather.com, it does say geomagnetic storm uh, in effect a G1 class. Uh, and it also talks about the magnetic field reversal. This is one of the best sites that I like to go to every day, uh, spaceweather.com and also solarham.net. These two sites are one of the best, are two of the best sites that I like to use to track uh, the space weather updates. But in the next couple of days, I'll have all this information also on mhtlurch.com and all you have to do is click on space weather. So that will be in a couple of days. But again folks, I think we need to stay on alert. These are the best websites to go to to keep watch on the sun's activity and what's happening. Um, I'm not here to make anybody get scared or anything, but I think it's just something to watch for because I've never seen NASA before put down stay tuned for updates. They've always backed up claims such as the 2012 ridiculous uh, saying that we're going to experience major earthquake activity with tsunamis you know like the 2012 movie which was a bunch of baloney and of course it never happened. We're still here. But there's always you know something that's natural occurring which is this that we're talking about the sun's magnetic pole reversal which could cause some serious effects on earth. So this is something that folks need to stay on alert for and you know, hey, if you already got supplies for a major event, then you're good to go. Uh, on the other hand, I don't have any supplies. I'm, I might be thinking about going and getting some uh, probably this weekend, you know, just to be on the safe side. You never know what can happen. So once again, folks, stay alert. I will post an update on the website, uh, number one, in just a few hours uh, for the live talk show and also for um, the website update for space weather tracking. Solar Maximum is the best way to go when it comes to that because you'll get posts every minute or two on what is happening with our sun. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay alert. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Uh, favorite it. Post it anywhere you want. It doesn't matter to me. You can post any of my videos anywhere on any website. All you got to do is just send me the link and uh, let me know where you post it. Once again, thank you for watching. Stay alert, be cool, and have a nice day, folks.